Hey everyone, in this video we are going to talk about how we can get list of all available workspace using window powershell. So now let's get started. So in this video we are going to discuss uh, the powershell command by using we can get list of all available workspace on which I have the access. Apart from that we will also fetch list of all the workspaces as a tenant level as a power bi administrator. So we will use the service account for that and as an individual we will use the normal username and password. So now let's get started. So as we all know first we need to type a command connect power bi service account. So I am typing that administrator accounts password. So you can see here I am successfully able to connect with my account. Alright. Now to get the list of all available workspace we need to have a command we need we have a command get power bi workspaces. So let me just enter this command get power bi workspaces. So it will show the available workspace for this particular user by using we have signed in. So uh, currently I have signed in as Thruvin's account and I have an access of uh, this many of workspaces. Alright. So actually it is not showing me all the workspaces. It is loading first 100 workspaces. Now if I want to have all the workspaces we need to type dash all. So it will show me the list of all the workspaces. Now these are the workspaces on Dhruvin has access means my user has access. Now what if if I want to see all the available workspaces throughout the tenant means if I have 20 users in my Power BI tenant and I want to see which are the workspaces which is created by uh, another user or uh, someone else. So for that I need to use some additional parameter with the PowerShell. But before we proceed further and use this PowerShell command make sure that you have the following rights on your account. So uh, just check one thing over here. Open your uh, Office 365 admin center uh, and make sure that your user has at least Power BI service administrator right. So let's say for an example this is my user from Office 365 and if I check uh, from the role currently I have the global admin account but if you don't have a global admin account you should at least give Power BI admin right to the user. Alright now one more thing uh, how to define like whether you are added as Power BI service account service uh, admin or not. For that uh, here is one more check. Let's for an example whenever you open your Power BI and when you see this admin portal and you can see this type of screen this means that you have the Power BI service administrator right. Otherwise it will not show you this admin portal to you. Alright and now we are going to use this admin portal API. Alright so for that let's do one thing like now as an admin like my user already has connected as a Power BI service administrator right. So I will add scope as organization dash scope and then organization. So you can see here all the available workspaces in my throughout the tenant. So let's say for an example this is my workspace and I have admin access. Now you can see here two accesses are assigned to this particular uh, workspaces contributor or admin. And also you can see some personal workspaces as well. For an example I have uh, let's say I told you like I have so many users like 20 user 25 user as a Power BI service admin. So it will show all personal group personal workspaces as well. Let's say for an example in Dhruvin's account uh, his my workspace is called as a personal workspace. So it is showing you that uh, information as well. Uh, let's say for another user that is uh, this one. For that also it's showing me the personal group as a Power BI admin 
as well as for adels account as well it is showing me the personal workspace all right so this is how we can leverage the capability uh, of powershell and list out all the available workspace throughout our tenant so in this video just to summarize we learned two things first one is as a user as an individual user if we wish to uh, list down all the list of workspaces on which i personally have an access we can use the command as well as as an administrator as a power bi service admin if i want to see how many workspaces are created throughout entire tenant we can go with this powershell command hope it is clear for you now and if you have any question related to this topic you can directly email me on druvinsha16 at gmail.com or you can whatsapp me on plus 919537981467 if you are to the first time to my channel hit the subscribe button and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from my channel you can follow me on all social media platform like facebook linkedin twitter and whatsapp if you want to receive the daily notification from my channel just click on this link you will be redirected to the next page fill the form and you will be receiving the daily notification from my channel stay connected with me have a great day goodbye